Okay, so we've reached the 16th, a par 5, 470 yards off the whites. It's definitely a reachable par 5 in 2 with a good drive off the tee. However, we just need to consider our strategy. So let's discuss the hole and what comes into play at what yardage. So we've got our course planner up on the right hand side and we can see that the hazards come into play at 250 off the tee. So anyone with the driver needs to make sure that they thread it between those two, those bunkers there. We've got two on the right and we've got three up the left hand side. So it doesn't quite suit the draw ball because that's going to bring it towards the traps on the left hand side. It will suit a little fade moving it off the left hand traps. That's if you're going for the long ball off the tee. So, we will be taking a club to hit it less than 250 off the tee if you want to be getting a good par or you want to be getting, you know, playing to an 18 handicap, playing it one over par. My club of choice off the tee, hitting it about 280, it's going to, or between 280 and 290, is going to be driver. Okay, so I hit a good drive, very happy with that. Hit it 285 in between my 280 and 290 distance off the tee. Hit a slight draw, I moved it off that right hand side track, that's my natural draw flight. I did obviously consider that moving it too much right to left would be bringing it towards the traps on the right hand side. So, I'm happy with that drive, I've now got a second shot to the green of 194 yards. So, I can be aggressive, I'm going to make sure that I've got plenty of club I know the water is short of the green and it's left. So I'm going to be playing middle to right side, making sure I've got plenty of club. I want to be hitting this 290, so that I'm going to be playing with a 6 iron, a 6 or a 5. Our distance is here at HD Golf here at Let's Golf. Obviously we're playing in ideal situations. If we're playing in the UK this time of year, very wet, very cold, damp, heavy air, so we won't be flying it as far as we would do in very warm conditions like we're playing inside the studio here. So I'm going to be playing a five iron actually, I'm going to be just reducing the distance down a little bit, but making sure that I've got enough club to carry the ball onto the green. Okay, happy with that shot. I played a little fade, which was moving the ball away from my target. So, can have a quick look and replay of that ball flight. So, I moved it off the left hand side. Yes, I had plenty of club. I was aiming to get the ball mid to back of the green. I've just gone out the back of the green and I've got a little 20 yard chip shot here back onto the green. Okay, so 20 yard chip shot. So, I'm going to be playing the ball very similar, I'm going to play in a shot very similar to like I just played, handle standing more upright, arms a little bit more out and just feeling like I just swing the arms, very dead wristed, no wrist action here, so a very dead wristed action and you can see as I'm moving the club through my imaginary clock face here, my left arm is travelling with the shaft. 8 o'clock to 4 o'clock, just letting that club swing back and through, maintaining that pendulum-like action, and then the, less, the, the lower loft angle on the 9-iron is going to send the ball out a little bit lower with less spin. Okay, happy with that. Chip shot up to about eight feet. I've now got my putt for birdie. So an eight foot putt, slightly uphill. I've got the distance in feet here in red, so that means I don't have to get the ball to the screen. So I'm just going to get the ball to the ramp just at the front of the screen there. Looks as if it's just slightly right to left, but for this distance I'm not going to be aiming outside of the hole, maybe just right edge, and just making sure I've got enough speed to get it up that slope.
Just hit my putt a little bit left there. It wasn't a great putt, so I missed it. Didn't get my birdie. However, I got my par. So let's recap on that par five. Important if you go for the long shot off the tee, that you're aware of the hazards both right and left of the fairway. If you're not playing for the long shot off the tee, making sure that you're short of 250 is not going to bring the bunkers into play. Second shot strategy, make sure you are long rather than short because of the water short of the green and the water left. So bailing out to the right hand side is good, it's going to move the ball away from the hazard. So we just need to make sure we select the right club to either leave it short of the water or make sure we've got plenty to reach target. Then we've got a green there. Looking at the green as I was at the back of the green there, it's not a too difficult chip back onto the green. And then you've left yourself a putt, a chance for a putt for birdie or a two putt par. A good hole, just think again about your strategy, how to play.